<laughs> you can? Yeah, because what okay. they said is better. Right. There's stuff there. Yeah, that's right. They have been such good girls. They've been in the car all afternoon. Yes. Just Somebody said no sound. <laughs> yes. No sound. So just You've let us patient. know if you can hear us now. Let us know if you can hear us now. I wonder if it's possible to hear us. Let us know if you can hear us. We're doing our broadcast in a new way tonight. And so we're hoping um, you can hear us loud and clear. Yeah. We hear we heard you now. So they didn't hear the very beginning part. Oh, great. Okay. Well, welcome to Glory Bible Study. It's a special edition tonight. It's behind the scenes edition. And we are in the deserts of California right now we doing are out a photo in shoot. The middle of the desert and uh, just east of Palm Springs, California, in a place called Nyland, California. It's really an out there, out of the way. There's nothing around here except for one very, very special landmark called Salvation Mountain. And we're actually here today doing a photo. So I'm talking slow. I've been out in the heat all afternoon and I'm just catching my breath. I don't know if you can tell, I am very, very hot. Janet said it was 110 degrees out here in the desert, huh? Yeah, yeah, it is. We are doing a photo shoot for an upcoming book release with Whitaker House called Creative Glory. And you can actually Woo! purchase the book right now. It's already available for pre-sale on Amazon. I don't think we've got it on our website yet, but we we're going to do on that our website soon. Yet, but Amazon has it. And um, this is a book that you are going to enjoy and be inspired, be encouraged. And it's all about the creativity of God and that oh, creativity so that flows when we get touched by the glory. Amen. And uh, we've seen this in our own life. And I tell a lot of testimonies and share stories about how that creativity has flowed and brought provision and how it's flowed and healing comes and creative miracles come from creative glory. And uh, there's nine very specific chapters, including an entire chapter on angels of creativity. But when I was thinking about one of the most creative places I could come to do a photo shoot, it came into my mind, uh, this place, Salvation Mountain, out in the middle of the California desert. And Jenna, I want you to turn the camera around just real quick so everybody can see just a glimpse, just a quick glimpse. And of I have place. to turn it around the original way because the camera won't it. allow me. So I hope there that you, you guys can see. That is this is the location spot. Salvation Mountain. And we'll talk a little bit more about it later on. But you can see at the very top there's a cross. Of course, everything points to Christ. Jesus is the center of everything that we do, should be the center of all of our lives. And it says God is love, which is, you know, when creative glory comes, Janet, the realm of God's love should be expressed through creativity. Amen. Uh when we begin to paint, when we begin to create, when we begin to sing, when we begin to sculpt, if you begin to bake and cook, or if you begin to write, or however it is that you express yourself through the arts, whether it's dance, praise, worship, however, and there's so many different ways. I mean, inventing, uh, engineering, uh, receiving blueprints, downloads, maps from heaven, all of that is creative glory. Yes. But when creative glory comes, it should release a sense of God's glory on the scene through creativity. And of course, because he is love, at the end of the day, people should feel the love of God. Amen. Amen. Now, that doesn't mean that it's all fluffy and fancy because, you know, God's love is real. And sometimes love is tough. Sometimes love uh, speaks truth. It stretches in us. the middle of. Yep. Uh, where there's been compromise or there's been uh, wishy-washiness or sin or darkness. When God's yeah. love comes, he comes to purify, he comes to cleanse. But at the end of the day, he comes so that you would understand just how very much Jesus loves you. And so we came out here to Salvation Mountain to do a photo shoot for the book. And we have been here since about, about two o'clock this two afternoon. Yep. And so it's been about three hours under the California sun and if you have ever taken pictures outside in the desert for three hours in the California sun, you'll understand what I'm feeling right now. It is very, 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 very hot. Very hot. And we have a team of people that are here helping us. And a great um, team of people. Oh, look, at there's a just, little dog like Buttercup. Here, turn this around. Oh, my goodness. This guy has a little dog. <laughs> reminds me of Buttercup Aww. before she got totally razor shaved by the pet smart. Like yeah. a hairless rat. When she, yeah, when she came back from PetSmart, she looked like a hairless rat. 
Um, and Anyhow. so she's growing her, her hair back right now, but that, that little doggy reminds me of Buttercup. Anyhow, I will get out of the car and <laughs> we will take you for a little we'll bit of around. a tour um, as Josh was in between uh, shots. And I want to introduce you to, to the photographer. His name is Ryan West. He's a celebrity photographer from Los Angeles. And he drove out here to do this shoot when we were negotiating some things. Oops, sorry. Um, <laughs> he told me, he said he felt so compelled to shoot these photos. He felt connected to the message of this book. And so he's, he's doing this project because he really believes in the message and he believes in uh, what we're doing and all about creativity. And so I'm excited about that. He's done a bunch of stuff for like Harper's Bazaar, Vogue magazine, Elle, all the major fashion magazines he shot for. And now he gets to shoot the glory yeah. for the creative glory book, which I'm so excited about. And that book is going to be filled with pictures and it's going to be inspiring. It's going to be different than all the other books I've written, but you're going to love it. You're really, really going to love it. And it comes out on November 9th. If you're wondering now, I should say, Janet, today is a special day because you know, I've been a book machine. Some people have told me, Janet, they say, you are a book machine. You're writing. Julie Meyer wrote me and said, how are you writing so many books? The I said, glory. well, it's the glory. I said, it is the glory coming off the road though. I've had all this time to write. Yeah, I mean, as yeah. we've been ministering different places, it's not been the schedule like I've had before. So anyway, we updated my book, Encountering Your Angels. Oh, look at this kid has a Signs of Wonder shirt. Look at this. Turn it around. Oh. Tell him you like your shirt. Tell him you like your shirt. Hi there. I love your shirt, Signs and Wonders. Your green shirt. I love that. That's awesome. We're just doing a live Glory Bible study right now with our viewers. My husband's doing a photo shoot for his upcoming book, Creative Glory, and we just noticed his shirt. We love it. We see God doing signs and wonders all the time. Yeah, we see God doing miracle signs and wonders all the time. Amen. That's yes. the God we serve. He's the God of miracles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you guys have a great day. Okay. All right. God bless you. <laughs> How fun. How fun. That's wonderful. Praise God. What a great All right, shirt. guys, this is. Listen, this that's is... why it's important to wear glory shirts and yeah. Bible shirts and scripture shirts. And I have a friend, Jenny Weaver. Uh, I think her company's called Clothed with Grace or Clothed in Grace, something like that. And she's always coming out with all these wonderful, creative shirt ideas, yeah. different sayings from the Bible and different encouraging Versus, I love that though because it gives a point of contact. Look at that that kid wearing the signs and wonders shirt. I know, I love that. It's so wonderful. Much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Someone said, "Oh, Joshua, your that was Linda, our friend Linda. Oh, Joshua, your God face is red. You, it is very red." And I asked Ryan. I said, "Can can you deal with this in post production? Because I don't want my face to be red in those photos." It's so they, a hot one out here today. They can do a lot of magic in post production. Take care of a lot of things that are. Yeah, crazy. and so um, this this we, is raw living it uh, is. real camera footage today it is. forgive and listen, the shaky hands listen we are we are doing this spontaneous but we didn't want to it, it the choice was either we skip bible study or we do it from the car we do it from the photo shoot and so yeah we try to schedule our whole life so that tuesday we're not doing anything except for bible study but sometimes other things come up so well, anyway and last week we uh left for alabama we did we left and we for did alabama. a couple of uh, days of driving and made it to birmingham and uh we're so thankful for all of your prayers and we arrived there uh -huh. safely and we're there um, now we're part of kingsway church so excited about what god's gonna do kingsway college this fall. yes thank you jesus and Amazing. then we just flew out to california yesterday um, <laughs> he came straight into the to photo do shoot. this photo shoot and we're really looking forward to uh, the outcome and just um, the display of his creative glory right. uh, through this project <laughs> and the reach that it's going to have to so many people uh, nationwide. But one of the things we did last week is we opened up, um, uh, we closed Glory Bible Study with a giveaway and we wanted to make sure to oh, yeah, take time to announce the winners of, of the new book, Angelic Activations, and which is was, actually released today. That's what I was trying to get to. I updated my book, Encountering Your Angels, with a brand new cover, with brand new content inside. It's been freshly re-edited. The editing is excellent. I would almost dare to say it's perfect now. And um, we also made the font larger because people were saying that the font in the other book was too small. Yeah. So we've got a brand new book now. It's called Angelic Activations and it releases today. And so you can go today to our website, to Amazon, to wherever you like to get your books and 
order that book and it will be shipped to you immediately. So that's really exciting. But we've got four winners of angelic activations from last week. This is the giveaway from last week. And so those winners are on Facebook, Chanel Brown. Congratulations. Congratulations, Chanel. I'm going to read all the names. And then the instruction is you've got to send us an email, office at newwineinternational.org. And if you forget that email, just replay this or go to joshuamills.com. And the email address is there on the contact. Yep. And then you can uh, go ahead and send us your address, your mailing address, your best mailing address. Exactly. And if you're watching from overseas, we'll send you the PDF version of this. Okay. So congratulations, Chanel Brown. The second winner on Facebook, Mary Jo Glynn. Congratulations, congratulations. Mary Jo. And uh, number three, this is on YouTube, Jesse Pyron. Congratulations, congratulations Jesse. Jesse. And the fourth winner is from YouTube also, and it's Dave22. Congratulations, Congratulations, Dave. Dave22. Oh, I see Dave22 on tonight. Oh, look at that drum roll. God bless da, 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 da. Dave, you're the winner. winner. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I love that. Oh, praise That's God. That's amazing. Yes. Listen, share this broadcast. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And the other thing is you want to go to our website, joshuamills.com. Scroll to the bottom. Put your name into the email list uh subscription because we send out notes every week this week we're going to send out a special little it's not going to really be bible study notes but we're going to send out a special little behind the scenes from our photo shoot here at salvation mountain yes. and we're going to give you an opportunity to pre-order that creative glory book as well as ordering angelic activations which is awesome yeah and uh cc i think wants you to see her teddy bear yeah i think she does <laughs> there it is so here's liberty and legacy lincoln's actually out in that heat he's been helping Joshua with the photo shoot. He's been part of the team. Most of the time, the girls and I have been in the air conditioning in the car because the girls can only handle so much of the heat. And another member of the team out there is Quentin Fears. He's the stylist working on this shoot. And he uh, he went and picked out the most creative outfits for me to wear for this photo shoot. It's really, really stunning. He's extremely gifted. And, um, and then also Chaz is out there in the heat uh, doing all the grip kind of all the extra stuff and he's an amazing blessing. So we got a great team here. I actually got to go put on another look, Janet. And so I'm going to get changed in that next look. And, and the then, girls and I are going to take you for a tour. Yeah, that sounds And right. I'm going to do my best since on this platform, I can't just flip the camera. I actually have to physically turn the phone. Please bear with me as I'm walking to the location. I'm going to do my best to- um, Why don't you stay here, turn it around, talk about it a little bit. And then when I'm done in the back, we can walk out together. Okay. Awesome. Sounds great. Okay, I'm going to get the team to. Awesome. And I have to turn the camera around because Joshua's changing station is the trunk. Yeah. So anyhow, it's good to see you guys on here. I'm going to turn it around here. Hopefully you guys can see there's Joshua walking back yeah. that area there behind uh, one of the parked vehicles is where the clothes are stationed and the rest of the team are in somewhat of some shade. And then you'll see, hopefully you can see, there's a little house looking um, uh, part and it's actually on the back of a truck. And that's where Leonard, who is the creator of Salvation Mountain, that's where Leonard actually uh, lived. And he would go once a week into town and uh get showered and bathed and joshua's coming i literally just found did you see me just find this dime well i was actually talking and in showing so i didn't see sand. you pick it up in the sand up there there's no money anywhere there's no coins anywhere i looked down i was coming back walking back and i found this dime now if you read that book in July activations there's an entire section yeah where i talk about the dimes and what finding dimes means actually it's a sign that God allows the angels to use to speak a very clear message from heaven for you. And you can read that in the book, but I think it's amazing. I just found this dime. It's a miracle. There's, it was it's a, a sign and a wonder. And this is the way it always works. It's not a penny. It's not a quarter. It's not a nickel. It's not a dollar. It's always a dime. Here we I go. just found this dime. There's See, Lincoln. It's found in the sign. Uh, in the Lincoln, sand. say it's hello to everyone on Glory Bible Study. Hey, everyone. It's a little hot out here. <laughs> this is Quentin <laughs> and Fierce. And this is Quentin Fierce. Hey, how are you doing? Fashion stylist extraordinaire. Yes, doing an amazing job oh, today, especially that. in this heat. And so they're just going to do another uh, wardrobe change. So I'm going to turn you back around. Excuse the sounds there. But I was telling you about this little house structure. That is actually where Leonard, the creator of 
Salvation Mountain uh, came out several decades ago on this land to create this masterpiece. And his heart in creating this masterpiece, this mountain, was to spread the message of God's love. And so uh, on the back of that little house structure where he lived, there's the tree of life and there's fruits there, um, the fruits of the spirit. He's got the uh, Lord's prayer painted on the mountain. Uh, he's got different messages. The actual prayer that he prayed, giving his heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. And he really just wanted to spread the message of God's love, spread the message of who God is and do it in such a powerful, creative way. And so there is people that come out here, has come out here for several decades and have been inspired um, by his work. And he would just allow people to come and walk out on this land. And uh, what he would do is ask people to bring with them gallons of paint. And so all of this has been a community effort, um, a global effort of people uh, coming and visiting the site and then bringing him gallons of paint of all different colors. And, um, and then he continued to create this masterpiece of, of what, he felt he, what he felt was his divine assignment while here on the earth. And so it's just so cool, you know, the creative glory um, that God has given to each one. And I wanted to share a scripture out of the book of Exodus. And it's in Exodus 35, verse 35. And it says, he has filled them with skill to do all kinds of work as engravers, designers, embroider embroiderers in blue, purple and scarlet yarn and fine linen and weavers, all of them skilled workers and designers. We have each been given a measure of creative glory, a, a measure of creativity. And so it's just, God is so faithful to reveal himself in many different ways. And so just really open up your heart to receive what it is that God has already given and placed inside your life. And just say, open me up, Lord, to, to reveal the masterpiece of who you are in and through me. There is so much, there is so much that God wants to do in and through each and every one of us. And so this special place, Salvation Mountain, once again, is located just um, outside of a place called Slab City. It's in uh, the desert. The extreme heat is here. It's in the desert of California, about an hour and a half east of Palm Springs. And we actually drove along the Salton Sea um, coming here. And so it's very close to that location. But I'm going to get out of the car now. Girls, we're going to get out of the car and we're going to take them for a little walk uh, so that we can see this a little bit closer. So let me just make sure windows are up. And thank you guys for your patience in this. Let's see how we can take the heat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pray for the girls. Oh, wow. I'm already hot. But Extreme close-ups. All right, guys. Let's do this. Let's do this. You can see just even the surroundings. There's a few RVs and trailers out here where people have actually decided to live. God bless them. We're going to take a walk here on this special property called Salvation Mountain. Where people have come and been touched by the work and the creativity of the special man, Leonard, that came out here several years ago. And so I'm going to take you over to the site where everybody is right now, getting ready for the next photo shoot, the next scene. And you can see here, guys, this vehicle, everything is just painted and full of messages of salvation because we're at Salvation Mountain. And here we are. This is Leonard Knight's Salvation Mountain. And so here we are. There's a little bit of a bio of what's happened here. And here is everybody getting ready for the no the next shoot. And the wardrobes out here. And the setup you'll see here. 
There we are. Let me take you out to the actual mountain. I can only go so far. We only have so much permission. And so Letter Knight came out here and spent his life. He passed away in 2014, but he spent his life out here, most of his life, his later years, creating this masterpiece. So let me show you. Hope you can see this okay, guys. You can see the red tree there, the tree of life, the fruits of the spirit. He's got some different scriptural references. The love of God is painted all over this. You can see, hopefully you can see the Lord's prayer over here. It's starting to chip away because once again, we're in intense heat here. And you can see at the very top of the mountain, the cross. And I'll take a step further back so you can see. Excuse my heavy breathing. Hopefully you guys can see that well. Because with the sun, I can't even see. But this is the prayer he prayed. Say, Jesus, I'm a sinner. Please come upon my body and into my heart. That's the prayer that he prayed when he gave his life to Jesus. And so there's so much color and so much life and love displayed here. We thought this would be the perfect location for creative glory photo shoot used to be able to walk into those areas and go right in almost like caverns and caves there but that it's closed off right now and there's a board of directors uh, that's been set into place to help um, maintain this area and take care of what Leonard Knight had created and you can see the vehicles all around here you guys are enjoying this and now I'll take you back to the onset part here where they're about to go for another they're ready to do another scene there there's mr. Ryan mr. Ryan West <laughs> and his assistant has and mr. Ryan West a very famous photographer has done a lot of uh, photography for all your top fashion design magazines and like Joshua said he felt really inspired to be a part of this project and so this is actually the organization of Salvation Mountains actually been set up into being a nonprofit charity and so they receive donations to help maintain uh, the work here there are a number of scriptures and phrases that are especially dear to Leonard. And those are the ones um, that he has painted on there. You'll notice the largest is God is love, which is the best way to describe Leonard's message to the visitors to Salvation Mountain. It is simple, direct, and powerful. And isn't that the truth? Simple, direct, and powerful message that God is love. And so he um, passed away, like I said, in 2014. But it's just amazing the legacy that can continue to be carried on here and so we're just so excited that they allowed us to come here onto the land to do this specifically today for creative glory and we just thought it would be fun for you guys to be a part and see what was happening today and what's involved in some of these projects that God has assigned to us to do so I'm not going to go on to this vehicle but I mean he has Jesus everywhere and his home here, he used to live in this. The love of God is everywhere. SalvationMountain.us Repent. Jesus, I am a sinner. Please come upon my body and into my heart. He just wanted people to know Jesus. Just like we wanted people to know Jesus and know the power of his love. And where there's great love, there are great miracles and so we pray that today you would experience his miracles we pray that today you would experience his love and share god's love with someone today 
share the, the creative glory that he's placed within each and every one of you and be that light that he's created you to be. Amen. And so I'm going to close today, but I just wanted you to see what is happening here at Salvation Mountain. We love you guys. We love each and every one of you. And I don't know if you can see Joshua out there. The girls out there on scene. Just like Joshua said, as a creative, you have to be willing to step out of the boat. Sometimes it gets uncomfortable. Sometimes you're going to be stretched. Sometimes you're going to be asked to do something that's not normal and is beyond um, maybe natural limitations. But God takes us always beyond. There's no limits in the glory realm. And so be stretched, be inspired, be encouraged. Know that his creative glory is for you and is working through you for miracles signs and wonders to be released here on this earth we love you guys please join us again next tuesday uh, we won't be here we'll be at another location but thank you for joining us tonight god bless each and every one of you and may his love bring forth much fruit this week in each and every one of your lives god bless you and have a wonderful wonderful week